today, uh, in order to just prepare us for a time of prayer and ministry and expecting God to work supernaturally, I want to talk to us today about the gifts of healings and working of miracles. And these are two gifts of the Holy Spirit. Um, of course, in the Bible, you, in, in, in 1 Corinthians 12, you read about the nine gifts of the Spirit. I want to focus on just two, the gifts of healings and working of miracles. So if you have your Bibles, let's read the text. 1 Corinthians 12, let's just read verses 7 through 11. I just want to highlight a few things. The Apostle Paul, he calls them the manifestation of the Spirit. The word manifestation simply means to make visible to display, to give us evidence. So the gifts of the Holy Spirit are the manifestations of the Spirit. That means the Holy Spirit is saying, hello, I'm here. He's making Himself visible. He's giving evidence to His presence. He's putting Himself on display. One of the things, you know, we must always keep in mind, and Jesus said this in John 16, verse 14, talking about the work of the Holy Spirit. He said, He will glorify me. So whom does the Holy Spirit glorify? Jesus, right? So whatever the Holy Spirit is doing through you and me, through the church, will always exalt and glorify and lift high Jesus Christ. In a very simple way, I want to just present two points here to convince us that the gifts of the Holy Spirit are still for the church today. There are two things very clearly he stated. He said that when we see him face to face, and when we know even as we are fully known. Do you know fully? No. So we still need the functioning of the gifts. And God would use the gifts to help His people in, a, in making their life's journey of faith. Every believer must desire these manifestations. We mentioned nine manifestations of the gift of the Spirit, and we're not explaining all of them. We'll just spend a few moments on two of these today. But we must desire. You see, when God tells you to desire for something, then it's good to desire for it why you and I must desire spiritual gifts. First, we said because that desire spiritual gifts because that addresses the situation. Whatever situation in, you address it with the gifts, with the best gifts, combination. Secondly, we are all called to walk in love and desire the gifts of the Spirit. So what do the spiritual, what do spiritual gifts do? They edify the church. They build up people. They encourage people. They inspire people to go forth, to do things. Gifts are freely given. Amen? And these are called gifts of the Spirit. The Greek is charismata. Charis. Grace. Gifts of grace. Now let's talk about two, two of these gifts and we close. Number one, the gifts of healing. Many of these gifts, just by the name, you can understand what they're intended to, the purpose they're intended to serve. The gifts of healings are intended to bring healing to people. And it can be healing for any part of our being, spirit, soul, or body. And the working of miracles, what are the working of miracles? It's a supernatural suspension of laws and normal processes in order to, to cause something to happen. There are normal processes, and God has put these laws uh, in place, and man has all these normal processes. But when God overrides that, when God suspends that, and He causes something to happen, that's a working of. So this morning, I just want to encourage you and me. Be convinced the gifts of the Spirit are in the church. The word of wisdom, the word of knowledge, the gift of healings, the working of miracles, the gift of faith and tongues and interpretation of tongues and prophecy and discerning of spirits, all these gifts are there. And the Holy Spirit is more than willing to manifest Himself through all these gifts because Jesus is going to be glorified and the church is going to be edified. But it's up to you and me to desire 
Peace, kids.